So Cos, or some say Cosm. Uh, so I bought some items on sale from Cos, and I want to show them to you because there are a lot of pieces I purchased from the women's department because the women's department is a little bit more extra, I'd say, than the men's department, a little bit more risks, um, not your usual wear if you were to wear it as a man. So like more big cuts, uh, nicer silhouettes, at least for me personally. Uh, and I want to show them to you and I want to mix them up with my Rick Owens uh, shoes or, um, or just trousers and I got some new things and I want to mix it all up and just with my wardrobe you can see what it looks like I made an entire outfit for every single piece and I didn't try to do the same thing over and over again so you can get the best perspective of these items and what they could look like and maybe the uh, the message of this video is have a look at it uh, at costs and uh, maybe you can find some things that you really like maybe you're into Rick Owens or to like the dark fashion we wear a lot of black items and you can find a lot of nice things at cos i'm pretty positive you can so let's get into the first outfit and i'll just uh keep talking you can see the overlay video how i'll style it and i'll tell you what i wear with it so um so the first outfit is this uh really big shirt from cos and it's a um really long i think it's just a dress v-neck um and it, it's kind of a sporty material it does look clean because of the material it looks more sleek it looks more ironed as well because i also got a cotton version of this which i will also show you but uh, together with this uh, dr denim pair of um, of trousers and with my rick owens uh beaters which i purchased on grill for way too much money um yeah this i think this just totally works this is a nice outfit and you can wear a lot of nice uh, uh, things combined with these big silhouettes, I think, and the, just a drape of these things is just really cool. So, on to the next outfit. So, the next item up is the tip of the iceberg because uh, I get a lot of questions about this pair of pants, which is a 100% viscose pair of pants which I purchased uh, at a thrift market. It's from uh, Van du Noor, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. I didn't know, uh, I don't know if, that, if that's the way you pronounce it, but um, I'll show the tag right here and uh, you can just see what it is. I don't know if you can purchase this anymore. This is an amazing pair of, uh, of pants. It, it fits amazingly well with all the black items that I got. And just uh, the, the size of this thing, it's a women's pair of pants, but it has the elastic waist and most likely because you wear like tall things uh, over it. You won't really see the crotch area because the crotch area is like just simply cut so it's not really made for men let's say that at the bottom you can see like how big this pair of uh, trousers is so really nice pair um so i don't know if you can get that anymore but the thing where it's all about and this is basically the tip of the iceberg i was talking about this is a beige version of a shirt that i also have in black and this is a really nice dress from the women's section this is a size medium uh the other shirt was also a size medium and at the back, you can see that it all drapes up here because the uh, I think the, the the sleeves are cut to the front. So they are sewn together uh, in a really weird way, which makes it look like this. And as you can see in the outfit, it works perfectly well uh, with the style, with the beige coloring of the uh, Rick Owen sneakers. It just looks fantastic. And for these things to be on sale, I would definitely purchase those again. And I did buy a few because I could get them for really good prices. So uh, just a really nice basic. And I've already worn all these things <laughs> quite some times in a few weeks. Um, so let's get into the next outfit. Also wore them with my uh, Rick Owens Adidas Mastodons. And yes, this uh, lace uh, happened to um, be destroyed. Uh, that's really unfortunate, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to buy some new, uh, new laces for these uh, Mastodons. So next outfit, I wore this uh, pair of mainline uh, Rick Owens trousers. Uh, I made a video on that, so if you want more information on that, then um, you can find it on my YouTube channel. Um, together with this white oversized shirt from the men's collection, I think it's a pulp line shirt and it's a size extra large. Um, compared to the other things that I've been wearing, so like the big cost dresses, uh, make all the oversized items that I already had look tiny again because I I think I uh, shifted my boundaries in means of how far do I want to go in means of length and width in means of a shirt or a dress um, so that's 
been pushed and I don't think this is as big as I thought it was anymore because I've worn uh, those items since but as you can see in this outfit together with these vegan Ramones it looks really really nice it just I don't know it's just like a really complete outfit and if you want like big cuts don't purchase a regular oversized um, I mean don't purchase a regular shirt and then just add double XL a size that doesn't work I already did that a few times with some other items and you don't probably get the effect that you would want so uh, for me that doesn't work so this is a oversized shirt and I think it's also called super oversized so if you want to have links or item uh, uh, directions then I can definitely look them up for you so just let me know um, but it does look really cool I don't know how often I will wear this but for the prices I got it for it's all fine so this is a pair of uh, trousers that I've already looked up a few times and then it happened to go on sale which is uh, really good it's this um, paper bag uh, belted pair of trousers and this is just something that I've also uh, tried on before from different stores but maybe I just wasn't ready for this so it's a women's pair it's a size 44 and here you can see what it looks like with a really big oversized sweater just a really comfortable um, pair of trousers and for the uh, uh, sale prices it's really nice to have things like this this feels like quality that it doesn't like it will last a long time that's what it feels like um, and it feels tough like it feels well crafted so that's really nice and um, just the style of this is something that I can totally merge into my um, uh, trouser game if you want to say it that way um, and it works with a lot of items even though it's women's only the zipper is uh, reversed um, so that's just it and it's a really cool pair I have those with my uh, Rick Owens Adidas runners um, yeah they're still going strong <laughs> in means of the, the quality um, I'm still really happy that I got these so sometime on Instagram I saw a really big pair of like just cotton trousers, really oversized, wide leg at the bottom. And I wanted to have something like that, but in really thick cotton. So I was at the sale and I saw this. And this is a really cool pair. And it's, again, a women's uh, pair. And if you want the link, then I can provide that for you. This is a size large and it has an elastic waist at the top. And it does feel a little bit loose, uh, but it doesn't drop because of my hips. And at the bottom, it looks just like the Fisco's pair of pants. It's just not as wide, but it's really wide still. Um, just a really, really cool pair of trousers, which, as you can see in the overlay, works fantastically well. So in my last Dark Shadow video, I, uh, I had a blazer, which was uh, from H&M. And I purchased it uh, for like 10 euros on sale. And then I was like, I maybe need to upgrade something like that because it could maybe room the look of the uh, of the outfit so so these two wool um blazers jackets this is more like a shirt and i think it's from the women's section in a size 43 and this is from the men's collection in a size 54 i think um this is a little longer as these shiny uh things right here wool material looks really clean it just makes the outfit complete and as you can see together with the um the dark shadow drop crotch uh trousers or prisoner pants it just looks great and also this other one, which is a little bit more floaty, also has the pockets open, the sleeves are a little longer. I can really appreciate things like this for like not the high dollar uh, amount that you have to pay for a uh, designer. So cost is, um, I don't know, pretty, doing pretty good. I mean, all the cuts have always caught my attention, but I never purchased it because I thought it was quite too expensive. But now that things are going on sale, um, we could quite manage to get really, really nice stuff for, uh, for decent prices. And I wore those items with uh, these Rick Owens Adidas Level Runners, uh, which I got for my birthday. Still really cool. Don't wear these a lot, which is uh, unfortunate. But um, I do really like them. And if I wear them a few times a year, it's good enough for me. And the last outfit we got is, uh, again, with the Rick Owens Adidas Mastodons. And I got the uh, paper bag uh, shorts in a size 42. And these are just really cool. This is a pair of shorts that I wanted to have. They're big at the bottom. They, uh, I don't really care about the belt thing, but I also don't mind it. Um, good price and buying like summer items in the winter um, should be pretty much a no brainer to um, 
have the best price possible. This is always going to look good, I think, always going to fit my style. And even if you switch up a little bit, this is just something so like maybe universal um, that it's just really going to work. So really nice pair, just <laughs> put a pair of shorts in there. It's almost winter, but it's still like 20 degrees Celsius some days uh, here, which is really crazy. A lot of super, a lot of cost items uh, in this uh, cost video. I want to know if you guys are familiar with cost. Do you purchase at cost? Uh, which items are you always looking for? Do you buy the, like just the essentials or do you buy like the really extra stuff um, from cost? I'm pretty curious because I haven't purchased there a lot. Only one bracelet that I, uh, that I purchased there uh, and barely wore because it was like three euros on sale. So I purchased that and I just didn't wear it as much. And then this went on sale, all these items. And I was like, well, I want to get a lot of items right now. For the last item up, this is basically the grail item uh, or items because I purchased two of these. This is the dress, same dress as the beige one in a black color and a size medium. This is just freaking perfect because I purchased this and I can wear it with any pair of trousers that I have. I can wear it with the white ones. I can wear it with a little bit like super smaller ones. It just works with a lot of things. All my sneakers go perfectly with it. And it's so comfortable. There's a lot of fabric, which may also be a little bit like not functional, um, but still for uh, for sale prices, this is a really cool thing uh, to purchase to have. And it's a really good alternative to uh, designer brands because it is unique and it's not like knockoff or like uh, replicated from a different brand. Um, really cool. I love this piece the most out of all of them. And um, I suggest you just have a look at the cost sale and see what it has to offer. So if you like this video, if you want to see more outfit pictures regarding all the things that I had in the frame or I show you or the things I'm wearing on my wrist, then just have a look at my Instagram channel because if you find something interesting here, you can probably find something interesting there as well. So hope you guys have a great, great day. Thank you for your time for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.